it's Tara Styles, and welcome to my kitchen. So today I have a recipe for you for butternut squash soup that you can make from a real butternut squash. It's very exciting. So all you're gonna need is one butternut squash. This I roasted up last night, cut it up, put it on a cookie sheet in the oven for about 45 minutes, cool it, and then just peel off the skin. It takes some time, but it's meditative, it's fun. And you're going to need some celery, uh, an onion, some vegetable broth, a little bit of coconut milk here, and some spices, so uh, red crushed pepper flakes, turmeric, and chili powder. So the first thing we're gonna do is to get our onion in our situation over there going, so I'm just gonna chop this guy up. Just a little bit of oil in your pot over there is good enough so it doesn't burn. Didn't even cry this time. So we're gonna get this in our nice pot here. Let that simmer for a while. Okay, and we can get the uh, butternut squash up here in our Vitamix. <laughs> okay, turn it on first. Vitamix, proper safety. <laughs> okay. I think it might be a little easier if we add a little bit of the veggie broth in here, just to give it a little something to work with. There it goes. Oh, it's going. Okay, now we're ready to go. So let's see how our onions are doing. Whoa. Turn it down just a little bit. Let's add our mixture here. There. Squash in there. We're gonna need to add some more liquids as well. Let's get this simmering around with the onions here. And you can either keep it as acorn squash mash <laughs> or add in a lot more veggie stock here. We'll let that go for a little bit. And I'm going to add some celery here for a little extra crunch in the soup, which will be awesome. You don't even need all the crackers and such. So let's get the celery in there. Whoa, and oh, that's pretty, it makes it green. Now add some spices here. We've got our crushed red pepper flakes, turmeric up in here. Yeah. Last one here, some chili powder. And to make it a little bit more even liquidy and creamy, I'm gonna add in some uh, some coconut milk here, which is really creamy and exciting. So I'm just gonna add about half of a can of this. All right, so we're gonna stir this up. We're looking all gourmet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get this on a low simmer. Okay, so our butternut squash soup has been simmering and absorbing all of the amazing flavors, and we're ready to give it a try. So, give it a try. It's pretty hot. Mm. Really, really good. The coconut milk really adds a nice creamy flavor. All the spices, the celery, so good. See you later.